Hello, hello, hello. How you doing, Aries? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. This is your late night energy reading. I love you guys. Thank you so much for staying up with me. By the time you reach this message, there is a message. Okay, to new viewers, cross watchers, come on in. Take what resonates, leave the rest to someone else, okay? Um, so let's get started. Let's see uh, what your energy is. On this late night energy reading. Okay. All right. Let's see here. All right, spirit guys. This is for Aries. What's in the energy for Aries? Okay. Aries, a thinking woman. What you thinking about? Um, you also have this thinking woman. It's a lot of trans transitioning. A lot of you transitioning. You're thinking about change it excuse me, changing maybe courses, changing your major, maybe changing your direction. You're changing something. You definitely have your head in your books, okay? This can be particularly for someone in school, okay? You are definitely, oh, you're going back to school, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you could be just be ready to transition into something else in your life, okay? Um, that's in your energy. I also have a contract, okay? Contract of happiness, your love, okay? Beautiful, something you walked away from. So, um, Aries, it looks like to me that you are really thinking hard about some type of contract. You know what it is. I don't know what it is. But whatever you are thinking about, um, some of you may not see it coming. Some of you may be blindsided. This could balance you. But at the same time, spirit wants you to pay attention to the fine lines at the end. Okay. Pay attention to the fine lines. Also, this contract, you have the 10. This is the 10 of cups in the tarot deck. You have the happy family. Okay. This could be a contract that you're thinking about, you know, giving your heart to someone. Okay. All right. Ever since you walked away from someone else or some other situation, you let go, you bust free, you have transitioned, okay? You have transitioned, and um, I feel like some of you are thinking about um, the angel of love. Your heart is just beautiful, Aries. You have a very beautiful heart, and you're thinking about um, someone, a, a contract with someone, you know, um, maybe you're ready to make it official with someone. You, you know, you see this person is your happiness. Okay. I feel as though the Aries, you want to give this person your heart, mind, and your soul. All right. That's the energy. Any other energy for Aries? Thank you, spirit. Okay. Yeah. Look here. I feel like there's a caring connection or you're someone that you, you really care deeply for Aries. Okay, I see that um, it's a contract. You're like, you're ready to um, go for it. Okay, any other message for energy for Aries? Okay, oh wow, she's a beautiful woman. Okay, he's a beautiful woman. It doesn't matter the gender, okay? But this person is very beautiful. You're very attractive, caring from caring towards this person, Aries. Wow. Yeah, without a shadow of doubt, you're very interested in this person. But what worries you for someone? Someone's worried. Aries, you worried? Are you worried that your money's not right? You have financial constraint here that you don't have your right? Oh, but you got Concorpio. Came right behind it. Let me tell you something, Aries. <laughs> Adjusted possibilities. Let me tell you something. This person is your yin to your yang, Aries. My goodness. Let me tell you something, Aries. The con financial constraint, I feel as though that now that this card came out and Concorpio came right behind it, okay, I feel like this is where you was at at one point in time in your life. If this is not you, this is the cross watcher, okay? But now you're in the Concorpio stage. You went for, you went from mess to bless. You went from not having, from lacking to stacking, okay? Um, I feel like that was what you was worried about at one point in time in your life, okay? 
So let's see what <clears throat> your angels and ancestors said. This is beautiful. Ever since you walked away from something, you bust free from someone and you got out of you. You have someone on your mind or someone have you on their mind, Aries. Okay. And um, it's a beautiful thing. It's a caring connection. You're very attracted to this person. Medicine guardian. Be open to healing information. Okay, Aries, be open to healing information. This is for someone, all right? So uh, pay attention to the advice that someone wants to give you on your, um, your health, okay? That just came into the energy. The note, uh, take note of intuitive messages. Whatever downloads that you're getting, Aries, Spirit wants you to take notes of that, okay? Any other angel card okay drum dream and journey dream and journey okay dream and journey so take a uh, note of your intuitive all right and um, jot it down dream a dream jot it down whatever you have been intuitively when you get intuitive messages so let's see what's going on here hey spirit guys okay yeah S some of you are in separation the car came out of this way okay some of you have separation with your other partner okay a passionate connection jackpot okay those cars came out as well aries this is passion aries i feel like if this is you i'm talking to aries you feel like you hit the jackpot when you met this woman uh, start talking to this woman or this man or vice versa. They felt like they hit the jackpot with you, okay? Uh, or someone is going to hit the jackpot. I just had that for another sign. There's some money abundance. Yeah, choose your words carefully. It came out in reverse. Um, I feel like you're already choosing your word carefully um, because it came out like this. But in other words, spirits just say, watch what you're saying, okay? It's just a fact of life. You know, don't um, talk negative about it. You know, your words have power. This card came out in the, in the pre-shuffle too, Aries. Share your wealth, okay? This jackpot, I feel like somebody is literally going to hit some type of winning. And Spirit wants you to share the wealth, okay? That's a beautiful thing, all right? Dearest wish come true. This is something you have been praying, manifesting, wishing to come true. And it is about to come into fruition. If some of you have been praying for money, you got Concorpia here. You have Jackpot here, okay? And it's because you did it yourself. You're doing it yourself, okay? You, it's right here. You went from lacking, Aries, to stacking, Concorpio to Jackpot. To a very passionate connection spirit guys is saying share the wealth okay that is for somebody all right this is a wish come true i feel like this person that you have met or that's coming into your life uh this is someone that you are really really oh my goodness you're really falling for this person all right i feel like um you feel, I feel like they either feel like time is running out or you feel like time is running out. Um, and they're trying to, I guess, you know, um, whoa, that card went that way. I'll take that. Stormy weather. Okay, let's see. I'll take that back. All right, so I feel like time is, um, yeah, if this requires balance. So I feel as though that um, this person, uh, or you, you're gonna, it's gonna be a lot of balance in, in this, in this, um, in this energy of this new person, Aries. Let's see what the stars have to say. These two, okay. All right, so the first one is you. You are bright energy color uh, uplifts you so it's something about color when you wear color it really uplifts you and if not if you didn't know that color does life is an expansion of you life is more than existing you just don't want to just exist you want to live your life okay does this person make you feel full of life all right 
Aries, I also feel like someone is you walked away from in the past. You found out maybe they were married. They were separated. Okay. But let's see. Spirit guys, this is for Aries. What is the message? What's the message you have for Aries? Spirit guys, white like archangels, Michael, ancestors, God. What is the message? What's the message for Aries? Let's find out what's going on on Aries. Okay. So I feel like you may have Virgo or you could be dealing with a Virgo Aries. Virgo could be in your chart or you could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. This person is very, okay, very wise, very wise, a lot of wisdom. This person could, you know, be very, could be spiritual, could, you know, go towards the light a lot. Okay. Um, but they're draped. They're very, they're, they're, they're gained a lot of knowledge. They've been through a lot. They have have so much wisdom, okay? This could be you, Aries, okay? All right, spirit guys, tell me about Aries reading. Thank you. Tell me about Aries reading. Oh, okay. Hold on, Aries. Let's get this one first. Um, Aries, I feel like this person could be hiding something, all right? This person could be um, uh, still dealing with some type of attachment in their life, okay? They could be dealing with some type of codependent attachment in their life. Um, or they could be hiding that they're very obsessed over you or you're very obsessed over them. It could be that, Okay. Spirit guys tell them it could have something to do with their ex, Aries, or your ex. Okay. Aries, are are you still okay? Let me find out. Okay. Oh. So I feel as though that this person can be uh traditional, okay? They can be you have the Hierophant, they could be married, could be traditional, they could be, in, you know, um, could be younger or older than you, but they in their own traditional way, they do like shivery stuff, okay? Um, but this person can also be someone known on some type of platform, Aries, but you got back and forth communication, okay? Someone's coming in with back and forth communication. Let me find out. This I think it's someone that you don't have any love for, okay? Someone that you cut, yeah, someone you cut out your life. They don't want your journey to end. So it's someone that you were dealing with, Aries, okay? This person's trying to come back in your life, even though you're moving on with someone else or you have an interest in someone else. But this person is going to be sending you some type of message, phone call. This person don't want y'all's journey to end. I feel like you're in separation from this person. Were you married to this person? Um, well, you cut this person out. Definitely. You cut this person out, but they don't want this journey y'all had together. Or this can be your person, okay, that they still have some type of attachment. And I feel as though that this person could be watching you or you're watching them. There's some type of, uh, uh, some type of secret going on. There's a secret going on, Aries. Okay. Yeah, it's an X. A, a King of Swords just came out in reverse. This person could be kind of intimidating towards them, manipulative towards them, or towards you, Aries. Mm-hmm. Aries, your ex person just showed up in the reverse. Okay, AKA just showed up in the reverse. They're still watching you. And they're going to send, this is someone you walked away from, Aries, that you're in separation from. Well, you cut this person out, but they don't want y'all's journey to end. You reverse the roles, how they fit in your life, everybody, okay? Um, excuse me, I feel like you still have some type of unfinished business, or they do, or some type of codependent. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn or Gemini. Um... But this person lied, stole it. This person lied and cheated and stealed, you know. 
I'm getting strong marriage in here because you have separation. But you have a new caring connection here that you know that's what you want. And I feel like that the person that you walked away with in separation, you went through a lot of financial problems with this person. This person could have uh, drugged you financially and now you're back on your feet and now they're trying not to let go or they don't want to give you your divorce papers or something. Uh, this is either you, Aries, or this could be the person that's going on in their life. But I see that you sowed a lot of seeds in this relationship that you were with this person. And you got tired of sowing seeds because you wasn't seeing anything coming to fruition. Okay. Any other message? Yeah. You're definitely, you're definitely defensive towards you either defensive or they defensive towards this. You, you're defensive towards this person. Yeah, you're you're definitely interested in this new person, this new caring connection. This is a dream come true, okay? Um, and you have you you have you've uh, really really, and that's what I feel like you're worried about, okay? I feel like either you're worried or they're worried that this person, this other person's energy, because I have two energies here, that this person's energy is going to come in and it's going to disrupt the person that you are interested in now or they're interested in you. So, yeah. So I'm getting ready to find them. I'm going to do some chimes. So hold your ear. Put your um, earphones on mute, okay, Aries, so that I can pull a few charms and see if it has any significance to this reason. Spirit guides, spirit guides for Aries, spirit guides for Aries, spirit guides for Aries, spirit guides for Aries. Okay, let's see Aries. All right, Aries, so you could, let's see, um, Sagittarius could be significant. This first could be a Sagittarius. Uh, you got soccer here. You have angel wings, okay? Angel wings. The angels are around you, guiding you. Um, I also see a Mercedes Benz. Does somebody have a Mercedes Benz, okay? Uh, that should be significant. Basketball, like playing basketball, soccer, football, you like football. But you definitely have angels. You definitely have, um, is that BMW? What is that, y'all? That's a peace sign. Okay, thank you, spirit guys. Spirit just told me peace. But I also look at it as, uh, I think it's, is it BMW too? But that's a peace sign. This person wants peace. This is angel, okay? I see angel, peace in here, uh, Sagittarius. Um, I feel like this, this person that's in your life is all about their peace. Okay. Very peaceful energy. I'm positive thoughts and energy. Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading until next time.